As we gather together, we continue to pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. As we join in faith, we open our hearts and trust to God's great gift and promise of forgiving love as we confess our sin and our brokenness. Lord Jesus, by your cross, you forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by your resurrection, you raise us to new life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, each day you feed us with your body and with your blood to heal us and give us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to a richer and more abundant life in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. St. Paul to the Philippians, brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in God's Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being on the same mind with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing, do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also everyone for those of others. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. In you, O oh Lord, I have found my peace. In you, O oh Lord, I have found my peace. O oh Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, O oh Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, have stilled and quietened my soul like a weaned child, like a weaned child on his mother's lap. So is my soul within me. In you, O oh Lord, I have found my peace. O oh Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, O oh Lord, I have found my peace. Alleluia, alleluia. If you remain in my word, 
you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On the Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. He said to the host who invited him, When you hold a dinner or a lunch, do not invite your friends or your brothers or sisters or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors in case they may invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you. Lord.
And let us stand together now as we entrust our prayers to our God. Continue to, mo to model God's love, mercy, and compassion for all of God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those in leadership throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit bless their efforts to follow Jesus' command to love by enacting just laws and policies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For family members who are estranged from one another, May the Holy Spirit be their guide and strength towards reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those here in our faith community who are struggling financially, physically, or emotionally, that they will feel God's comfort in a time of need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially for Felix Onochi, May they rejoice in the redemption earned for them through the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our gracious and our redeeming God, as we gather in faith, we do rejoice that you love us, each one, that you call us to love you heart, soul, mind, and strength, and our neighbor as ourselves. Continue to deepen within us your call of love. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Join me now in prayer, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice might be acceptable to our gracious and loving God. <coughs> For the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Almighty and merciful God, we, we ask you to receive these sacrificial offerings, that they might become for you a pure offering, and for us, a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just 
our joy and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, God of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we exult and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, gracious God, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, Jesus took the bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, gracious God, most holy, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ Jesus, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the cup of blessing. Look with favor on the offering of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ Jesus that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gerald our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor in our burden. <clears throat> Make us serve them truly, after the example of Christ Jesus and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to love and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place 
and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> The Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. <laughs> Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in blessed hopes the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but to the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. The sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold the one who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us stand together in prayer. <clears throat> May the working of your power, O gracious God, <clears throat> increase in us, we pray, so that, renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with may the blessing of our God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon us all and abide forever.